Hey, everybody. I'm here. I still can't hear. So please let me know if you guys can hear me. It's been, this is like the gift after Christmas that just keeps on giving. I thought I was feeling really good last night. I had all kinds of plans today. And it, like five o'clock in the morning, I, while I was still in bed, hey, Stephanie, oh, good. While I was still in bed at five o'clock in the morning, I had the worst dizzy spell I've had in a very long time. Um, my equilibrium with this ear infection is completely shot. So I stayed in bed for a good hour and a half after that to try and make sure I didn't fall flat on my face. <laughs> so it's been, it's going to be hit or miss today on what I get done and if this cold allows me to keep on working and if the dizziness stays away, it's not been good. I've heard so many people sick. This is like the year of crazy viruses and colds and the flu and uh, it's not good. <laughs> Did you have a good Chris, uh, Hanukkah, Stephanie, right? Hanukkah and Christmas. You actually celebrate both. I don't know about the mend. Every time I think I'm doing good and I'm over the hump, it hits me again. I need to get some stuff done. I have been chomping at the bit. This is the first time, first time in my entire career of owning my own business that I actually closed for sickness. Not because I wanted to play hooky, but because I was sick of the dog. Hubby, um, how can I say it? We're still on the wait and see list. Um, not to get too technical or gross, but there's a few spots on his foot that wherever they amputated the toes that they're not quite sure about if they got enough of the amputation off. So Thursday we go back for the to the doctors for the third time so that they can look at his foot and it's I feel like I've been on a wait and see list with him and everything else for six months. It's just been one doctor's appointment after another. I figured it out the other day just because of, like I have nothing else to do. But in the last, well, in the last two months, he's had three surgeries. He's had four surgeries in the last six months total. And we've been in the hospital over 50 days in the last six months. It's been crazy. I don't, I'm just like. I, I thought 2024 was going to be a good year for me, but right now it's starting out to be a really yucky year. <laughs> I don't get it. I know. That's what I said. Like, this is just crazy. Okay, let's get on to some fun stuff. Um... This doesn't pertain to you, Stephanie, so much as because you don't live in Florida, but we have our All Florida Shop Pop. This is the second annual one coming up in March and April. And as part of the Shop Pop, you get different squares. Hi, Mary. You get different squares from each shop. So this year, I decided I'm going to make a quick quilt with the squares and i'm going to give the pattern away as a freebie during the shop pop hey kathy how are you it was a lot of fun it was different so i'm not buying you know every year they have fabric that goes along with the shop pop and you have the option as a shop to purchase it or not i'm not going to purchase it sorry not going to happen i have a different idea and planned and I'm going to show that to you right now. Let's see. Check it out. I've got some of the blocks done. I've got a few more to do. But each store has their own little square that you get. So I took some of them that I thought were kind of fun. 
some of my local shops and that were colorful some not so local because this is the key west shop whoops it's upside down there it is um just some of the ones that i liked because we get we got sample block sample of these as a shop owner um and i'm gonna make a quilt and i'm gonna give the pattern away free and of course to the best for last here's mine let me see can you see that can you read it i don't know if you can read it the, the lettering is light so it says Soft fabric, warm fabric, buy it by the yard. Happy fabric, pretty fabric, here's my credit card. <laughs> so I thought that was cute. I haven't finished the design as far as whether I'm going to do sashing or something else, but I just thought this would be a fun option. This year, my goal, I mean, I have to buy fabric. There's no way around that. I'm a shop owner, okay? You can't have have a shop with no fabric. So what I'm going to try and do, though, is try and come up with patterns and classes and projects where we're using more of our stash. Because let me tell you, my stash, everybody thinks I got a big stash. I guarantee you, mine is bigger. <laughs> so... I'm going to try and help you by not offering new fabric, but try and get rid of some of our stash. How does that sound? And then you get a free pattern too. I hope that how people like it. Um, I thought it was a good idea. We'll see. Some people may like it. Some people may not. So Miss Mary... For those of you who don't know, Miss Mary is one of my locals, and she started the butterfly quilt later. How far have you gotten with your blocks? Just out of curiosity, not to put you on the spot or anything. All right, let's see. While she's answering, if she's still here, we'll show you what I did. Now, I started this part before I got sick. So I don't know how far we're going to get, but I'll show you what, at the very least, what we're going to do is get part two done because we've already done section one. Oh, good. You're doing good then. But this is part two and three complete. I just don't know if I'm going to get that. Or this one is part three complete. So I did both part two and part three. Part two is underneath this stack of fabric. So we're making a right side and a left side. Now to make sure you get the blocks in the same order, mirror image, what I suggest is you have your First part, if you do the left side or the right side, whichever one you do first, you lay that down face up. And then you put your second set on top of it face down. So you know where they're all laying. This will guarantee you have a mirror image, both right and left. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew these three together. I mean, these four half square triangles first see they're under makes it a little bit hard to see but they're under there see pretty pretty this cold let me tell you it's literally the first cold i've probably had in about five years at least why what did you do mary did you try to lay them out and keep track of them right or left I 
I'm sorry. I should have had the video done sooner. But I think I put it in the last video that we did when we did section one, so that you did do both sides, I think. See? I'm, I'll be happy if I get this section two done. Oops, sorry, you don't need to see my hair. <laughs> I'll be happy if I just get this section two done, because at least I feel like it's easy to get back on the bandwagon if we get something done. But this... Ah... See, once in a while, I have a good tip. Once in a while. Not all the time. Once in a while, though. So I'm just going to lay these down. I have so... I had Last night, I had so much planned in my head that I was going to do. I got... I went to Dollar Tree and Target Dollar Spot. I picked up a bunch of little things that I want to DIY for my new kitchen. Now that the kitchen is just about done, it begs to be decorated for the holidays. Ah, okay. Background. Um, you cut them as listed. That will help you do both sides. So for like section one, it says the very first one is two, two and a half by two and a half squares. That's all you need is two. Because you'll need one for the left side and one for the right side. Hopefully that helps you, Stephanie. But yes, I went to shopping last night before I got home. And um, I've been in a hit for decorating. Normally, you know, if you've, you're local. You've been to the shop and you know I decorate my shop for every holiday. Or at least I try to. Six major holidays. I don't normally do it for the house because it's just too much. And I might regret it, and but we'll see. I have a ton of decorations because before I downsized the shop, I had 6,000 so I have a lot. And before I get rid of them and weed through them, and since I've done my kitchen, I've decided I'm going to try doing a little decorating. It might make me happy. We'll see. I'll share pictures when I'm done. As long as they look good. If they don't look good, I ain't going to share them. Now that the holidays or Christmas are over, I'm hoping to get more stuff done. Okay, here are my flying geese. Doo -doo. And now I'm going to put my background. I don't know. I have so many plans. We've got the barn after we're done with the butterfly. Oh, come on, my machine doesn't want to cooperate today. We're gonna do the barn star sampler quilt, which I've already got all my fabric pulled, and I'm gonna start cutting that soon so I can start. Oops, working on blocks. And in the shop, we're doing lumination, jubilation, not lumination, the jubilation quilt, which is the uh, Studio 180 rulers, which I'm pretty close to being done. So we can start that one. What else? I don't know what else. So what are you guys doing? 
Anybody got any questions? Oops, I cut off the tip of one of my triangles. You guys got any questions with the butterfly quilt or anything else? And Stephanie, you know, once the event is over for the All Florida Shop Pop, if it's anything like last year, I should have extra squares. They go up for sale. Most of the shops do. And they go up for sale if you decide that you still want to. I'm sure I'm not the only Florida shop that you follow. So you could get a few. And even if you just make a small wall hang. Not that you need anything extra. To do the Ah, oh, vacation would be good. I don't know. Why is this not working today? I keep cutting off that point. And I'm not quite sure why. Okay. I'm not going to fight with it anymore. We're just going to leave it alone. Uh, I know. Everybody's getting hit bad this winter. My daughter's... Main company is in New York, the headquarters, and they're like Buffalo, New York. They're on their feet of snow today. Okay. This is real simple when you lay it out this way. So here's the section I just put together. This is the next part. So all I'm going to do is just pick it up and sew it together. It's pretty simple that way. Stephanie, I remember those days, 26 inches of snow. No, thank you. Although I have to say, no, I've been in Florida now, I want to say at least 10 years minimum. And this winter has just been nuts. I can't remember a winter in Florida where we've had this much cold weather, cold weather for us, you know, where you can have possible frost on your window and having to actually wear coat or sweatshirt or something. Now, it's nothing like it is with you, Miss Stephanie. You can have that. I ain't, I don't want none of that. I did that before. I'm a New England girl. I remember those days. And inevitably, because that was before my husband retired from the military, he was never home for any of those beautiful storms and blizzards. No, thank you. Okay. Here's the one that I just sewed together. I'm going to lay it down. I'm going to sew these three together, sew them to this small block, and then sew finally onto here. Simple, simple. Yeah, I don't want to. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No, thank you. I lived through the, quite a few blizzards. I grew up there in the blizzard of 78, too. Mm -mm -mm. I like my warm weather. <laughs> but I can tell since I've been in Florida for 10 years, I'm starting to turn into a Thinner, thinner blood and, and like my daughter and my son-in-law and my granddaughter came down for um Christmas and they're like oh yeah this is great comfortable let's wear t-shirts and I'm here with a sweatshirt going oh it's cold I don't know if that's just because I've been in Florida too long or I'm getting old it could be a little bit of both funny story you want a funny story or am I talking too much today 
feel like I haven't seen anybody in forever between the holidays and being sick. I'm enjoying it. I got to do, get a lot done and you guys get to listen to me because I've been neglected without people. All right, funny story. But hold on, here we go. So I did these three, laid it down. I'm just going to pick it up and sandwich it and then sew it. Um, all right, my funny story. You know, I've been a caregiver most of my adult life. And things were kind of tough with my dad when he got really bad. My daughter lives here, my youngest, she's 32 now. Yeah, I feel old. And she's been an amazing help. I, I definitely could not get through half of the stuff that's been going on without her. But at the same time, as we're going through all of this, and I've been redecorating and painting and I'm also at that point where I've been reorganizing everything. Like, I'm a serial organizer, like, is in, um, don't leave it anywhere too long or I'm going to organize it or take it out of its box and put it in a pretty container. <laughs> That's, I'm, I'm that bad. That's what I've been doing for like six months. We have four dogs in this house, and all the dogs are different ages, different um, issues, health things, different foods, different medications. I mean, I got a lot of dog stuff, a lot. I could fill an entire pantry with just dog stuff for all the dogs. So just before I got sick, New Year's, the Sunday before New Year's, it was the last day that I was feeling good because New Year's Day is when I got sick. I ordered a wire rack and put it in my laundry room where all, a lot of the dog stuff was and reorganized an entire five, five shelf large rack, wire rack with nothing but dog stuff. That's not funny. But the funny part is my daughter, I can tell she's starting to get older. And it just made me laugh because she actually posted to Facebook, mom's organizing. Look at how cool this is. Everything's in one place for the dog. And I just had to laugh. I'm like, I posted, responded to her. Hmm, you sound like you're becoming an adult. Yeah, no. If it wasn't that funny, I'm sorry. It, it was funny to me because I've been thinking a lot about age and all that funny stuff, but it makes you feel really old when your youngest actually comes out with adult stuff. You can laugh at me. You can tell me I'm crazy. That's okay. I'm all right with that. I just never was, our kids never thought I'd get to that point where the youngest, the baby is actually Growing up at 32. What can I say? Okay. Here's the part that I just sewed. Now the final. Again, we're just going to put this. So far, up until now, I haven't worried about any seams lining up. Now's the time that we're going to worry about it. So I want to make sure I take the time to pin these. So that not all the seams, it's just a few seams on here that I want to line up and just make sure that everything is nice and straight. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but I will try. So it's this seam, and since these are pieced here, I decided to make sure those line up too, just to make sure it it flows. Make sense? Uh. 
right. Now, I've probably said this a hundred times, but I'm going to say it again. <clears throat> Don't ever, ever, ever sew over your pins. It's not a good thing. You could break your machine. At the very least, you break a needle. But at the worst, you could break your machine or have a needle break and fling back at you and get caught in an eye or on your face or something like that. That's why my needle, my pins are on an angle so I can actually stop with my needle down in my seam before I take my pin out. Just the act of picking your pin out can cause your seam to miss a lot. And the way I'm feeling with this cold, um, I'm not going to fight with my seams too much. I might go back and change it, but right now I'm just not feeling it. Oh, not too bad. I like it. Not too bad. There it is. So. Oops. There you go. So you can see they mirror each other. There's one section. There's a second section. Easy to mirror. Now, I just, I want to call, call it good. I was going to try and do the third section, but honestly, I want to stop on a win. <laughs> so we're going to end right there. We'll do the third section next Sunday. Um, There's not a lot more to it. And uh, by then, I should be feeling better that maybe we can double up on them and get them done before. I wanted to bring my calendar with me. I forgot what date we decided. I decided to start, I think it's in February, the Barn Star Sampler. I don't remember. My brain is shot. But I will definitely have the butterfly quilt top done before we do the Bar Star Sampler. Nice thing with the Bar Star Sampler barn star sampler is their duplicate stars so i will be able to do the first one of every single part of that quilt and show you how i did it on video it'll work out really really well kind of like this one did does anybody have any questions And don't forget our pretty stars. I really like these. This is done with um, the gray is Northcott canvas. And the teal and the blue are that pearl glisten by um, Patrick Lewis. So I, I just got to figure out. I'm only going to do small one, nine box. I just have to figure out what I want to do in the... Um, sashing and if there's anything else i want to do on it but once i finish that i will finish the pattern and it'll be ready to be given away during the shop pop as a pre gift stephanie kathy everybody else you guys good thank you miss mary i'm glad you were able to join us i would love for you to post what you've gotten done so far with the butterfly quilt everybody please if you're sewing along Post some pictures. I have to live a lot of the time vicariously through you. So I want to see what you're doing. My pleasure, Stephanie. And if there's nothing else, I got to go do some. Oh, I have a new doggy gate that I got to put up. <laughs> you can post right to the, to the group page, Miss Mary. Even to this video, if you want, that's fine, too. I have a new doggy gate for my front door. 
because I have a dog, Miss Nola, my tripod, three-legged dog that likes to scoot out the door as soon as we open it. And she likes to hit the door when we close it. So eventually I want to paint the back of my door and I don't want to scratch it up. So I got a really pretty decorative date, date that comes out from the door. So we can actually open the door without feeling like I'm going to get trampled too. And actually walk into the house without getting jumped on. I know it's the little things in life that make me happy. All right, everybody. That's it for me. I will post some pictures if I get some decorating done. Um, other than that, that's it. You know, you can actually post questions here, email me, call me, and I will answer them if you have them. Have a great day, everybody. I'll talk to you later.